of the men's 800 meters t54 kenny van Vegel goes in this one he's already won bronze in the 100 meters on friday he was seventh at the paras last year lu cheng ming defending champion also goes in this championship record also set in doha two years ago Warm weather, good times for those kids who are on school holidays at present. Wonderful July day. This is the first of three hits. First two hits. There are three hits going in this men's 800 metres T54 category. And the man who lost his world title over 1500 metres yesterday. Roatana is also in this event. You can't miss them, can you? Keep everyone together, all right. Not too sure how cooling they will be, though, those high vis tops. That looks more cooling in the middle there. There is Roatana, who came fourth in the 1500 meters. He still holds the 5000 title. Does the man from Thailand. Lu Cheng Ming, defending champion, also championship record holder. He'll go from seven. Canada's Tristan Smith in lane six. Hong Suk Man, first competed back at the 2004 Paris. He's in lane five. Sho Watanabe, 2013 silver medalist over 10,000 meters in Christchurch. And Yassine Garbi, who 8th in 2016 at the Paris, 7th back in 2015. He goes from lane 2, does the Tunisian. And Kenny Van Beagle, 2 para golds, 4 world championship golds. He'll go from lane 2. Marcel Hoog holds the world record. He goes in the second of the heats. The first two automatically qualify. The next two fastest advance through to the final. T54 always provides plenty of action, doesn't it? As they get away at the very first time and out wide, it is Lu Cheng Ming on the inside of him. Hong Suk Man, who also gets up there, the Korean athlete, as they move through the opening 200 metres in around 21, 22 seconds. Well, out in front, it's uh, Hong Suk Man, who's had taken the early lead, but around the outside is Rowat Tana of Thailand, who finished fourth. Disappointingly for him in that 1,500 metres yesterday, got boxed in towards the end there, so wouldn't want something similar like that to happen to him again in this 800 metre event, even if it is just a heat. As they come around to take the belt, it'll be Rowat Tana, Hong Suk Man, and also in there, it is the athlete from Canada, Tristan Smith, who's making a play as well. But Kenny Van Vegel has also worked his way up there. You can see him in the uh, orange and blue, the Netherlands athlete. He'll be looking to come through. It's only the first two that do qualify as the pace quickens in the back straight. And Rowan Tana out in front, leads from the front as he has done so often in the past. He hasn't done it in the first part of these championships, but here he knows he has to come up with something because he is only the first two who goes through. He leads in the front, Kenny Van Vegel is struggling a bit there, back in fifth place, but coming well down the outside, it is Lu Cheng Ming. The Tunisian takes it. Yassin Garbi, who goes across in the time of 137.40. That was a very, very fast finish from the Tunisian. He kept his pace, he kept his position, and he stormed home on the outside to take the victory in 137.39. He qualifies through to the next round. And Lu Cheng Ming, who he pipped going across that last 10 metres, will go through in second place for Rowatana. He took third after having what for him was a pretty simple first six or so hundred metres when he was out in front. But at this stage here, you can see 
It's Tunisia's Yassin Garbi in the last 50 or 60 metres with defending champion Lu Cheng Ming. So now Robert Tana has to hope that he can go through as one of the two fastest qualifiers. And Lu Cheng Ming holds that world record of the championship record is say 135.41. Marcel Hu, the world record holder, goes next. The qualifying there, Yasin Gabi of Tunisia, Lu Cheng Ming of China go through as the two qualifiers with the rest having to wait to see what they can come up with being the fastest loser.